Hi there guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kenny Stahl, thank you so much for watching this video. I want to begin by asking you a question. And the question I have for you is, have you ever gotten your feelings hurt before? And I really need you to help me understand um, any situation in your life where you've gotten your feelings hurt. So if you can, share that with me, because I don't really know what that means. Like, I can't define getting your feelings hurt in a way that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to understand it from, like, a mindset perspective, like a psychological mindset. Like, why is it that people get affected in a certain way when certain things are said to them? You know, for example, if I get called fat, I'm not gonna get my feelings hurt because I, I'm not a fat person. Like, I don't think that about myself. But if you call someone fat who maybe is fat, they're gonna get their feelings hurt. So it's like, I'm trying to think about why that might be the case, right? So I'm trying to think about, well, what are some things that would get my feelings hurt? One of the things that would really hurt my feelings is feeling like I'm rejected or feeling like I'm left out. Um, I want to feel like people like me. I want to feel like I have friends. I want to feel like people want to include me in whatever. And if I feel like um, someone purposefully uh, neglected me or someone purposefully, like, uh, uh, you know, was doing something behind my back, you know, to avoid me, I don't want to feel like I'm ever making someone uncomfortable. I don't want to feel like people have a problem with me. And when I feel like I'm doing something wrong or like someone doesn't like me, my feelings are hurt. I'm sensitive. I want people to like me. I want people to... Um, to feel that way around me and so that type of thing might hurt my feelings so trying to understand this maybe the different types of reasons why people get their feelings hurt um, has led me to this one theory and this theory I don't know if it's right um, but it's my initial thought which is that maybe the reason why you get your feelings hurt is because you, someone says something that is actually true like if someone says hey you're fat and in fact you actually are fat maybe the part of you that knows that you're fat and b knows that there's something wrong with that or feels like hey you know you're not doing enough to help yourself that might be something that would there be the reason why your feelings are hurt because you have to face a truth which you didn't want to face with me if I feel like rejected by people or I feel left out or if I feel like people don't care about me or people don't like me someone says you suck to me I already feel like no one likes me, in a way. Like, part of me feels like no one likes me. Part of me feels like there's something wrong with me. Part of me feels like, um, uh, like I am a loser, right? Part of me feels like that already. So if someone is to actually point out one of these things that I'm insecure about directly to me, like they say it out loud to me, like, hey, you're a loser, you suck, no one likes you, I don't like you, if someone says that to me, since I already feel that way about myself, having to relive that truth or having to face that tr truth which I don't want to face because I'm scared about it, I don't want it to be real, that might hurt my feelings or make me sad, make me depressed. It might bring me down, right? Bring my attitude down, my feelings, right? My emotion, my emotional level, my emotional state will be affected by what someone else says because I'm insecure, I'm sensitive to that kind of stuff. So, have you ever had this come up where someone says something, like maybe what, what happens is, um, uh, maybe you have a family, maybe you have kids, maybe you have uh, a relationship, and someone says, hey, you're not doing enough for your family, you're not doing enough in your relationship, you're really failing, maybe part of you doesn't want to feel like you're letting other people down. You don't want to feel like you're not doing enough for others. So if someone told you, hey, you're not doing enough, maybe that might get your feelings hurt because you hold yourself up to this expectation level. You desire, you your standards for yourself are that you can be this awesome person. You're, doing, you're helping other people. You, you want to have uh, a high self-esteem, you want to feel good about yourself, you want to feel like you're good looking, you want to feel like you're in good shape, you're healthy, you want to feel like you're um, responsible in your life. And if somebody points out to you that, hey, you're failing, you suck, right? You're not doing enough. Having to like, 
having like these are things that some people who are insecure that people worry about you worry about these worst case scenarios so it might be that you hold yourself up to a level of perfectionism you want to make sure that your life is great and awesome and perfect so you worry that maybe you're not doing enough so if somebody points out to you that you're not you feel like that's what the truth is someone says I'm not doing enough I'm not good looking right whatever that it's like that reality hits you and that's what makes you kind of depressed so that's like what my theory is is that maybe it's that you have to face the truth I mean there are other things like what else can cause someone to have their feelings hurt maybe someone that you trust lies to you they cheat on you or they um, you think that they care about you but they tell you that they just don't care about you they're not gonna help you and you feel abandoned by them that might be something that hurts your feelings because that trust is broken but what is that trust really that trust that you have between you and someone else might be your expectations for that person you believe that person is gonna be there for you you believe that person has your back that they're not gonna lie to you or cheat on you right whoever that is a family member relationship partner whatever um, you have these expectation expectations for that person and when maybe that trust is broken you know you feel like let down and there's so many different things that I think can happen to cause you to have your feelings hurt I think it's just important to understand maybe why this is the case so I want to end the video not really coming to a final conclusion on this topic but I want to know what your thoughts are why do people get their feelings hurt what is the psychological or mental mindset kind of uh, stuff going on that causes us to feel saddened or depressed or have our feelings hurt what is it first what does it mean to have your feelings hurt how does it happen and then what can we do about it I don't have the answers yet I'm just thinking about this right now um but is it possible that the reason that we get our feelings hurt is because we are insecure that we are sensitive that we don't want certain things to be true and that facing those things uh, in which we're worried about, which we're scared about, is actually just the worst thing that we could ever imagine to happen. And that's why we start getting our feelings hurt. Um, uh, what else was I going to say on this? Um, I think that's the end of the video. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Like, If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share the video with someone else. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. Other than the fact that, hey, here's the other question that maybe I want you to answer as well. Is it possible that what gets us upset, offended, or uh, get our feelings hurt, it's that what other people might say to us is, is based on entirely on our own inter interpretation of what they said. In other words, if someone says, you know, um, hey, I don't like you. You put your own meaning onto what that said, what is said, right? Like, if someone says I don't like you, maybe my meaning that I put onto that is, hey, okay, yeah, they don't like me, but that to me that means that no one likes me. To me, that means that there's something wrong with me. So, to a deeper extent than just what they said, it's also all the other like crazy places that our mind goes the meaning that we put on other things so i'm going to leave you with that and you can talk about it in the comments that's it for this video thank you for watching my name is kenny stall i'll see you later on <laughs> love you guys